All right, what's up, guys? I'm Tyler. Today we're going to be taking apart the uh, Explorer that I have. It's a 99. Um, going to be doing a head gasket replacement on it, so I'll go ahead and walk you through everything. I'm going to go as far as uh, telling you what the bolt sizes are and everything. So, all right, thanks for watching. The very first thing you're going to want to take off is going to be the uh, air intake tube that goes from the throttle body into the uh, in, um, filter housing. Uh, on the filter housing, you're going to have these 8mm bolts right here, just four of them. Uh, you're going to want to take those off, and then there's going to be a uh, plug that goes into your MAP sensor or MAF sensor. I'm not entirely sure which, which one this vehicle has. Uh, you want to unplug that, and then on the throttle body, you're going to have a flathead bolt. Just take a flathead screwdriver, loosen, and loosen the band up, and then you can pull the whole intake tube off after you pull the little uh, rubber hose off of here it's just your oil feed line it shouldn't have a clip or anything on it uh, so after that the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and disconnect these spark plug wires the spark plug wires are just two little clips real simple to pull off uh, and then you're going to want to disconnect this um, and after that you want to disconnect this one these are just going to make it to the way whenever you go to pull the in, uh, the intake here off, it's going to not get caught on those. So now on the other side, you're going to have another plug right here on the throttle body. And over here on the driver's side of the intake manifold, you're going to have this, which runs down to your EGR. You're going to want to just unscrew it. I believe these are 7mm uh, bolts. I gotta double check that, I'll let you guys know. Um, and same thing with this, it's the same size as this. You gotta pull both of these things off. There's two bolts for each of them. Obviously, you wanna take out this plug and this plug. And then this right here is just a little clip up here on the top. You can uh, depress it and pull it out. You don't have to unplug anything on this. And then the last, or not last, uh, a couple more things. Then you're gonna wanna take off this vacuum line right here and this vacuum line off of the back of the housing and then there's one more right here on the bottom that you might not be able to see and then for the last of the vacuum lines you're gonna have one underneath the throttle body that goes right there on that fitting just a little rubber hose none of these should have clamps on them except for the one running to the brake booster and then the last thing to pull off I don't know how well you guys can see it is gonna be this right here it runs over to your EGR valve which will have a vacuum line on the top to uh, I believe they are also eight millimeter bolts they might be 10 I got to double check that uh, and you want to pull those off and then on both sides of this fitting you're gonna have these little uh, bolts right here you're gonna want to take that one off and then there's one down here at the end of that tube you are gonna want to take off those are a pretty big wrench you're gonna want a one and a half, or sorry, one and one sixteenth.
Alright guys, so for the second part, you're going to want to pull off both of these uh, valve covers. Um, so to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you should probably just go ahead and disconnect all of these plugs on the uh, intake real quick. It'll make your life a lot easier because then you can move the wires around, get to the bolts a little bit better. Um, and whenever you go to pull the covers off it'll make it a little bit easier too because it gives you more room to work with because as you can see there's a lot of stuff in the way to get them both off uh, another thing that you want to disconnect is this uh, fuel line right here um, I do not remember what size that is talking about sizes uh, all the sizes that I told you about last uh, so on the actual intake um, the plastic intake that goes over this intake manifold uh, all the sizes I told you that I would get back to you on were correct. I just wanted to double check. I will let you know what this is whenever we get to the next part. Um, so anyway, after you disconnect that, you're going to want to disconnect these red vacuum lines right here. Uh, again, it'll just make your life a lot easier. It gives you more room to work with. Uh, I suggest doing your thermostat and your thermostat gasket inside of the housing. I just did mine, so I'm not going to take this off, but these are 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, there's three of them, two on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, so yeah, I would suggest doing that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Apparently I did miss something. Uh, the bolts that go on the valve covers, they're both, or not both, uh, all of them are 10 millimeter bolts. Are they up here? Recording? Oh no! I'm gonna edit it maybe. Okay. didn't look very good. Hey, Norm. When I was 15, I thought this was a good thing. Why did I get this one? Because they get the best one out of my family. Oh, yeah. And Chucky and Daddy. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this one. Yep. 
Alright guys, we got both of the uh, valve covers off. Um, tomorrow we'll go ahead and get that intake off and probably both the heads as well. Uh, but for, now, for tonight, this is all the time that I got because I got to go to work tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. And like I said earlier, I'm Tyler. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And like and subscribe please if this uh, helped you out a lot.